They'll be calling you a radical. So my posters are done. And so, let me get this back on the tripod. And so we'll talk about this. I'm raising money right now to pay my hospital bill off. I've been negotiating with the hospital. My bill's about $150,000. So we're going to negotiate it. They're going to give me a deal. They've got it knocked down to about $90,000. So, while uninsured, leukemia took care of that. I'm glad to be alive. And so, we're going to talk about some things. So, they turned out really cool. So, we're going to talk about the trumpets, the Obamacans, and the betrayal. And, you know, the, you know as I say it, Gold Spike was drove right there. The Great Junction City. That's the great call. Oh, it's dry. Oh, yeah, drought's over. We had a big winter. It hasn't rained here in fucking three months. It was 104 here yesterday. Going to be 103. You know, that's my room I was looking at. Uh, and they gave me two months to live. That's where I had open heart surgery, too. So, you know, I've seen the worst of the worst and the best of the best. So, I want to say this to the Trumpettes and the Alex Jones betrayers. Alex Jones betrayed you. Remember how great Alex Jones was in the anti-establishment, the anti-military industrialized complex, which is both the voters. You know, then he ends up being the freaking drum beater for the military industrialized complex. I'm a show me kind of fucking guy. So look, the nuclear industry is over. They're fucking done right now. I mean, it's over. Even with the subsidy, they're over. They're bleeding such fucking money. Without this fucking bailout, it's over. I'm here to tell you, they're done. Trump says he's going to bail them out. Now, is he signaling? No, he's saying it. Straight up, so I'm a show me kind of guy. And you don't think Trump knows about Fukushima. You know that. I stood from here to there from him. It was on Fox News, Salt Lake City. You should have seen my phone. People didn't even know. You know, people thought I was dead. You know, they're like, lighten up. You're all over Fox News tonight. You know, not because they wanted to. They were interviewing. I crashed the party like I do. Crashed the date doing fucking 98. Fucking right there. And so I'm like, Trump. Trump, what about fucking Fukushima? What about Fukushima? What about Fukushima? You gonna make a statement about Fukushima? What? I'm from here to there from him. You know, his orange fucking makeup, his mask, and he looked right at me and he went, look, I voted for Obama the first time, like a dumbass, because he betrayed, I'm a peace activist. He voted against both wars. Hillary voted for him. McCain fucking, you know, what's our choices? Fucking Jill Stein. I knew Jill Stein was a fraud along. The only green about hers are Swiss bank. I knew that long ago. I've said it right here how many times. So. Oh, stabbed right in the heart by the golden spike. It ain't so fucking golden. So. You trumpets, the Kool-Aid jug's empty. You know, that globalist non-globalist, anti-globalist is the globalist. Alex Jones, the anti-globalist is the globalist. The military industrialized complex, boom, boom, boom. Just read the fucking budget. Read the budget. So the DOE, the Trump administration comes right out point blank and tells them in India, because Westinghouse, look, I hope you shorted just like I said. I made so many of you fuckers so much fucking money. I kept telling you, short Chicago Bridge, short Chicago Bridge, buy the puts on short. They were 10 fucking dollars and went 1200 So I had some puts on fucking G. G came out finally an analyst today. He says, fuck, they're done. Fucking 22. I mean, he, that fucking thing's going to crash. From, by the way, it's a big component of the Dow. And if you think the Dow, look, you think the Dow's equally weighted. Oh, no. G's heavily weighted into the fucking Dow. It's going to drag the fucking Dow down. The Dow's a horrible barometer of fucking what's going on in the U.S. economy. By the way, so is the broader index, the SP 5 because they're global... I mean, they'll look at the stock market and think that's the thumbprint of the United States economy. It's pathetic. It's kind of like looking at the interest rate. Or excuse me, no, there's a Freudian slip. The unemployment rate. You know, let's talk about the participation rate. They've jerry-rigged all districts. They've jerry-rigged everything. Fucking game over. So, just because they said, look, the Obamacans are still drinking the fuck out. I mean, Obama was a betrayed fucking rat. 
fucking horrible to labor. The cover up of Fukushima, pro nuclear Exelon fucking puppet, good little fucking bitch on a leash. Whitey in the White House. I mean, look what he did. I mean, everything he represented, he was a lot. Trump's going down the same road. And if you don't believe me, look at his fucking budget. Look at his fucking budget. So I've renamed him. Here's my new name for Trump. Fucking Donald Obama. Donald Obama. Let them eat yellow cake. Fucking Barry Antoinette. Let them eat yellow cake. The salmon is in epic, epic collapse. I sat right there having coffee this morning. This woman came in, she had Oregon plates. Is she from Oregon? Yeah. She says, I'm a neurologist. What? So she says, I, I like to fly. So I said, so you're pretty well done. Fly. Oh yeah. I says, she, I says, you know, the Rogue Valley's got a cancer epidemic going off the fucking hook. It's direct hit from Fukushima. You know about Fukushima? Oh yeah. She says, do you think that's what it all is? I says, now you tell me. I asked her. She lives up there, fucking, she, I says, 2016 just clutch. She says, amazing, just like a switch went on. I says, they go to sea for five years. I was saying it over and over. You think it's all Fukushima? I says, yeah. I says, tell me about the cancer epidemic in the Rogue Valley. She says, oh, it's off the hook. I says, do I need to say anything else? She says, no, you're right. I mean, fucking, it's de epic fucking denial. To think you could pour this into the Pacific Ocean for 2,310 fucking days and there's no consequence for every action, there's a fucking reaction. This is the greatest action in human history. The fucking cover up, so fucking Donnie Trump's gonna go along. Look, without this bailout, so in India, that fucking right. Westinghouse, now hear me out. Westinghouse merged with the Sheba a few years ago. Fuck it. And then it really went in earnest part of the cover up. Chicago Bridge and Iron, Westinghouse and Sheba are the same company. And Arriva, the French. So th this bell out, you can read right into it, it's going to bell out a Japanese fucking company with American taxpayer dollars. It's going to bell out a French fucking, look, the French fucking Arriva is 85% owned by the French government. Nuclear is taking them apart. They went bankrupt twice. They're with Hat in Hand in Vienna fucking, when I was there in 2015. Hat in hand. I'll be back in Europe on the 16th if I can get the money raised. My daughter's getting married, so I got to go, and I want to. While I'm there, I'll get up to Vienna and do my protesting. So get this. You love this one. So the UN's been meeting in New York through June. Their June meetings. So they put on the table a fucking bill of rights for the Pacific Ocean. They put on the table and they advanced it forward. The very people that are killing the Pacific Ocean, covering up the IAEA, which is the UN, now has a bill for rights for the Pacific Ocean. What, after she's fucking dead? What are you gonna, f I mean, this is the up is down, black is fucking white, everything we think. You know, Obama, he's the champion of the fucking underprivileged, he's the champion of the African American, he's the champion when he ended up being the fucking globalist, fucking neocon, fucking pro fucking TP, I mean, my God, did he betray us. Like Bill Walmart fucking Clinton, at least, fucking W. Bush would come right out and tell you I want to fucking blow the fucking world apart. Fuck, I'm going to do it. I mean, at least he was in your face, him and Dick fucking Cheney, the criminals. Yeah, we're criminals. We fucking do whatever the fuck we want. Went off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. You know, I listened to, to Trump, which I call him Donald Obama now. I listened to Donald Obama speak in New York many times when I was there. He would go crazy about the fucking Saudis flying the planes in it. He would go crazy. Go after the Saudi royal family. Go after him. Do you know he cut a deal with the Saudis? Do you know about the lawsuit? Do you know this is the only thing Congress has passed in decades? I was a derivative trader at the time of fucking 9-11. That's what I did for a living. I fucking one of the first guys that identified the head puts on the airlines. We had them. We had them. I'm one of the first guys that identified the fucking money went right to the Bank of England. The fucking Saudi royal family and the English royal family, the same thing. You think it's a coincidence that Jeb Bush says, let's take Hamilton off the TED. Who are you going to put on? He says, Margaret Thatcher? What, what, what? I mean, if you can't understand that one, you really have lost your American way, fucking royal wannabes on your fucking knees. So I sent Alex Jones a pair of knee pads, and I wrote on both knee, knee, knee pads go on the right knee. I mean, this fucking bird has fucking two wings on the same side. Fucking fascism. Fuck, you can go into fucking an aisle all you want to read his fucking budget. So he tells the Saudi PM, or excuse me, the India PM, that, because Westinghouse has got contracts built, Westinghouse is bankrupt. They're fucking bankrupt. They're fucking done. They're, it's over. Toshiba still hasn't reported last year's earnings. Toshiba is what? They're bankrupt. It's over. They're done. He says, don't worry about it. Hang in there. We're going to bail them out. That's Trump. That's what he said. That's what he said. <coughs> Toshiba owns Westinghouse. 
Toshiba is the fucking, the big, the Japanese company. <laughs> so we, the American taxpayer, are going to bail out Toshiba. And Chicago Bridge and Iron, which Chicago Bridge and Iron got caught fucking stealing at Savannah River, the Tower of fucking Babylon, the Mox Fuel Fairy Tale, they got caught stealing $8 billion. Department of Energy did a fucking investigation. Caught them stealing. We're going to bail out Arriva, the French company, with American taxpayer fucking dollars. This failed technology, that's, as it's killing the Pacific Ocean, the greatest fucking ecological catastrophe in human history. And the scent white, we don't count dead whales, we don't count dead anchovies, we don't count dead starfish, we don't count dead tide pools. Oh, I do. On my own. The Great Pacific Genocide, fucking full of cancer, fighting for my fucking life. The avant-garde fucking artist formerly known as Blanche. Cancer inmate number 137. Fucking open heart surgery, fucking blown out art about courtesy of the new generation. It's like this blogger vlog. She's oh, Kevin Blanche trying to say that <laughs> Fukushima gave me leukemia. No, I said the nuclear industry gave me leukemia. The nuclear crime syndicate. They nuked my father in Nevada test site. I was fucking born with all kinds of heart defects. Now, look, I'm in the 1% study now at John Hopkins. 1% survival cancers. So they interview me every month now. Get this. They're finding out there's a correlation in surviving these brutal, brutal diseases, believe it or not, with risk taking. High risk takers are surviving. And people that are good with fucking numbers. I mean, it's bizarro, but look, now they're coming up and saying what I've said the whole time, the children of the atomic veterans. Now they're coming up and say people are born with a predisposition to AML leukemia through their fucking father's fucking radiation. The children, they're saying exactly what I've been saying the whole time. You know, he, he told me that in the interview, I says, he says, I says, how come you're asking me all these questions about a predisposition? How would I know? Of course I didn't fucking know. Who's going to tell me? The United States Department of Energy? He says, no, we're finding the correlation now. And I says, well, you know, I, I've been working on my PhD for years on the children of the atomic vegetable. And he says, that's why it pushed out. You know, the young man that was tailback for the Packers, the Hilltopper, you know, his name was uh, Henry, Mitchell Henry. Got OS de Nouveau, which is present in his shoulder. This is an NFL player speaking, you know. I sat right there this winter and I was at a game and the NBA scouts were there. And Jeremy Sieglin, who's playing there, right there, and this young man for Eastern Washington. They're playing Santa and I was telling all my friends, there's two NBA players on this floor right here. Fuck, what big, oh yeah. Oh no, no, you're full of shit, blah, 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 you know, blah, blah. And I'm telling the scouts, you know, it's pretty mad that I'm scouting for the scout. I'm like, no, I've been sitting here for fucking a whole life. This fucking kid's phenomenal the way he shoots. They both signed contracts with fucking the same team, go fucking Nets. You know, the pyramid fucking scheme called the NBA. Johnny, you're going to play in the NBA. You're going to be the next Cinderella. You know, one in a million shot. More power to them, you know? So, my posters. This is how this is going to work. They're nice, really nice. So, university's graphic designer, I gave him carte blanche. He come up with that. How perfect did he come up with that? You know, I just put, put some script down there. And so, these size, I'm not making that many, they're nice, they're posters. You know, you could send me a package, the size of them is 19 by 13. Send me a package, how you want to ship, one of those U, uh, UPS or, po I like the post office boxes. You know, I could sit it right in. Already paid postage. I'll send it back to you. I'm a poor, impoverished activist, you know. Remember, I was a millionaire when I got leukemia, uninsured. Hasta la vista, baby. Apparently, I don't qualify for fucking Medi-Cal, Medicaid, fucking anything, you know. Split open chest, heart fuck thing, fuck. Okay, whatever. Fuck them and their fucking money. They never gave my dad anything, you know, my mom. Fuck the United States government. No, I for deposit only. It's like the evangelicals. My friends used to go protest at the mega church. She would hold up a sign. For deposit only. I hold up a sign. Killed by peaceful nuclear energy. That's for them man. The democracy of cancer. That's for them man. That's in honor of them man. Monica. The activist that I worked with so much at the Noah Gay Hangar. So we'll be right up there at the Noah Gay Hangar on the 6th. You know, I do that event every fucking year. You know, most of the time by myself since she died of leukemia. And so... Then there's big ones. The big ones are gonna be really big, nice posters. They're 30 by 20. A little hair bigger than 30 by 20. 
Now those are going to go for $311 a piece. I'm not going to make very many of those. I already sold the first one, goes to Diane Still. She gets one of 33. And so they'll be done next week. And so, like I said, send me the box, pre-address on it. Now, as far as these goes, you know, I say 33, but you know, you, I've been donated from 5,000 to five dollars. Now, if you got money, I need money. I got to fucking raise money to travel to Europe. I defend completely 100% on private donations to keep my activism rolling. You know, I need to get up to the UN. It's going to cost me probably five, six thousand dollars to spend all that time to do whatever. You know, plane flight, fucking rooms, food. You know. So, I need to raise it. So, let your conscience be your guide. You know, if you don't have any fucking money and you want one, send me a fucking box with fucking ten dollars in it. You know, whatever. But if you got money, you know, and you want to be part of the, you know, there's plenty of you people that got money. You know, look how much money you made on the Chicago Bridge short. Look at the, I mean, I hope you shorted fucking GE. That thing's gone for 33, it's in the 26th, and it's gonna crash. I mean, that gig's over. You know, I was pro-market for so long because I knew, you know, they inflated their way out. When you inflate your way out, you don't just inflate gold, you don't just inflate silver, you don't just inflate housing, you float fucking equities too. You know, the gig's up. The housing bubble's fucking catastrophic to the youth of this fucking country. These young people that made this, they're anti-nukers. They're anti-nukers, they're very, monster, excuse me, U.S. Magnesium's right there. Right there on the side, the most fine thing in that, you know, that's how we got, met. You know, he says, what about MagCor out there? Oh, and I went on, he says, I protest all the time. You mean you have most fine energy solutions dump site, you know, headed to Texas, I think. The antitrust law, I'll be talking to them. They've been out of town, their attorneys, of course. It's 104 degrees here. I'd get the fuck out of town too if I could. Wish I was in San Diego right now, but I'm not. And so, send me the box. The big ones, there's only gonna be 33 of them. 33 is it. I'll sign them. $311 a piece. Pay the pre-postage on the package, so it's already prepaid. So I can just stick it in the box and dump it off. Same with the small ones. Just send a check inside your pre thing box or whatever, cash, whatever. If you, you know, and whatever the number is, the number is, because I want everybody to have one. You know, I'm not going to make that many of them. Probably make a hundred of them, you know. So, but, you know, come on. You know, there's plenty of people that got lots of freaking money. I don't, John Steinbeck, if you're ever in need, go to the poor, because they're the only ones that, isn't that the fuck? Thank you to everybody who's donated to this historical work. You know, I keep fighting, I keep doing, I want to say this. Dunfer went off on fucking James Colbert yesterday. He goes off on a lot of them, and these fuck betrayal fucking rats. I got into it with him the other day. You know, he made these really fucking slanderous comments about me on fucking Nottaway's fucking blog. I'm like, wait a minute. He said that I attack, no, no. He says, I have it on, show me the fucking video. You fucking liar in DC at the minute. I never attacked anybody, you're full of shit. He says, oh, well, some girl we was with attacked me. So that's, you. what, what? No, I'm not responsible for somebody else and I don't even know who you're talking about. You should claim this, show me. Don't fucking lie. Here and I'll tell you why. These vloggers like Dutch Sands, he's all jump ship. They've all fucking jump ship because they were opportunist. They were nothing but opportunists in the fucking fear porn, Fukushima, hawk their fucking iodine pills, their Dr. Goopa fucking iodine, you know, their bunkers, Alex Jones over there. Alex Jones fucking hammered away at fucking Fukushima and sold more bunkers and more fear stuff than anybody, iodine tablets than anyone. He made fucking hundreds of thousands of dollars off it. Now they jump ship? Fucking get on your knees because they're opportunists and they rode on my back. They sit and watch me do all the dirty work and Dunford do all the fucking dirty work and then they betray us. Then they turn on us because it's not in vogue because it's getting too real. It's getting too hardcore and the American populace, they can't handle the fucking truth. These guys know they watch their view count. God, they're all about view count. So they fucking pivot away to keep fucking the sheep fucking fed. Fuck the sheep. I don't care about view count. I don't give a fuck. You know, Trump could kiss my fucking ass. He lied to me. Just like Obama fucking lied to me. He betrayed me. He lied. You lead a budget. He's going to bail out the nuclear They're done. I'm telling you, it's over. They're over. You know, free market fair tells when he's going to bail them out with billions and not fucking drifting the way they're fucking. Read the budget. It's all fucking nuclear fucking energy bailout. The mil Look, it's militarism. Look at the budget. You know, it's fascism. I mean, hello, fuckers. It's not communism. It's not so socialism. It's not fucking capitalism. It's militarism. The whole thing going to it. Fucking bow. I say, pledge allegiance to the United States of militarism.
I mean, I go to the games right there, and you wouldn't believe it. You know, I've been going there, I've been sitting in the same seat for fucking 35 years. I remember seeing Fleetwood Mac there in 77. Stevie's right back behind there, and it's a round, beautiful arena. You can see her snowing cocaine. I have that ticket, you know? So now it's, I first it was I pledge allegiance, which I'm not a flag waver. I don't even believe in nation building and flag waving. Somebody said, fuck, what, which one? Which one? You know? And I have respect for firemen and police and all those guys, but I have respect for construction workers, bed fucking makers, trench fucking diggers, and fucking hardcore workers. I mean, I have more respect for them. I mean, I, I have respect for the American fucking real fucking worker, you know, which is brown and been exploited. I was a construction worker with a hawk and trial in my hand. So you pledge allegiance to the United States of nuclearism. You bow and get on your knees for all fucking military, all military defense contractors, Lockheed fucking Martin and fucking goons. Bechtel, fucking Westinghouse, Toshiba, fucking all of them. We honor firemen who get a fucking paycheck who don't do anything. Though they do here. I mean, the ETMs do, I should say. To your local fucking dog catcher. To police that will fucking shoot you and get away with it right here. They fucking kill people left and right here. They're, you know, even when they're caught, and video's right up there. Nothing. Two county commissioners and local politicians who rob and loot and fucking pillage. Two fucking congressmen and senators who rob and fuck. And the propaganda fucking whores that they are. Two energy solutions. To all these scumbags that buy these politicians, I pledge allegiance. Not me. Not me. I'm not playing. So that's the gig. So I've renamed Trump, Donald Obama. I had hope, of course I had. Did I vote for him? Fuck no. Fuck, I know too much about him. You know, it's like him calling CNN fake. It's the fake calling the fake fake. <laughs> I mean, come on. Fuck Obama. I mean, Donald Trump's been a fake his whole life. Read through his balance sheet. It's all fake, his balance sheet. He has $25 million in the market, and it's in his spy who loved octopusy fucking... Wasn't that the spy in that movie? Wasn't it Octopussy, the spy who loves me? No, it was Pussy Galore. Pussy Galore who doesn't even live with him. I mean, let's name the child Baron. You know, how old was he when he conceived Baron? No wonder Baron has fucking, you know, you can see he's probably autistic. He's got problems, which is very sad. You shouldn't be conceiving children when you're 64 fucking years old as a male. The chromosome is too fucking weak, you know. They all fucking do, including Larry King right here to this fucking, I mean, Larry King quit CNN, I can tell you right now, because I went to elementary school with Donnie and Marie. And so, I mean, talk about freaks, her parents, move them all around, they would never pay the fucking rent, whatever. You know, her son committed suicide tragically. Fuck, she's, I mean, she gets this big, then this skinny. She's had more fucking Prozac and more issues than fucking Time Magazine. So, her friend, Gold Digger, gets Larry King's fucking, you know, how many women's Larry King been through? That's why he quit CNN, moved to LA. She was having sex with the soccer coach. Those two little babies, I wonder if they're even his. How old is he? You know, so he moves back to guard the stuff. I mean, all the fucking people this Mormon girl gets him. <laughs> Twists him. Fuck, it's pretty pathetic. You know, so Trump, fuck him. You know, I'm a show me type of guy. And he showed me. He's given speech after speech after speech now. Pro nuclear energy, pro nuclear energy, pro nuclear energy. When they're done. Hello. Have you fucking realized Kevin Blanche is an anti-nuclear energy activist? Have you seen that yet? Avant-garde on Balco. Stan Turner. So, the little ones, I'll make quite a few of those when they're already made.